And this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Scorpio for 2022. So, a um, lot going on in 2022. Let's get the facts straight first, and then we'll look at the analysis. The facts are that in 2022, the annual new moon in Scorpio will be on the 25th of October. It is a partial eclipse of the sun. It's not permanent, it's not a total one, and it's not really that big a deal. The full moon in Scorpio will be on the 16th of May. Now this is a total eclipse of the moon. Not uncommon, happens every two and a half years, but it should be quite a spectacular full moon. And it's going to be a really interesting one. The full moon on in Scorpio on the 16th of May will be squaring Saturn to less than half of one degree, but it will also be trining Neptune to less than one half of one degree. So there's going to be a lot of challenges. There's going to be a lot of um, old structures crumbling and dissolving around that Scorpio new moon. But there's also going to be a kind of more innovative approach to the flexibility of life, the more openness of life. Neptune in Pisces is, is probably a stronger influence than Saturn in Aquarius. So I'm just going to tip the balance a little bit in favour of this uh, total eclipse of the moon on the 16th of May in Scorpio. It is going to impact on a lot of you. And um, particularly, incidentally, those of you born around around the 17th, 18th, 19th of November. That's particularly strong for you, that full moon on the 16th of May. The sun will move into Scorpio on the 23rd of October and it will stay with you till the 22nd of November. Mercury will be in Scorpio from the 29th of October to the 17th of November. Venus will move into Scorpio on the 23rd of October and stay with you to the 16th of November. Mars, I'm delighted to say, is not going to be dramatically impacting on you at all in 2022, although the time that it's in Taurus, your opposite sign, from about the 6th of July through to about the 20th of August, yeah, you will all get your buttons pushed during that time for about 24 hours. Not really a big deal. Jupiter is going to spend the first 19 weeks of 2022 in trying to all of your sons. Now, this is nothing to write home about, but it does suggest that all of you will go through at some stage from the start of De uh, January through to about the 10th of May. All of you will during that 19 week period will go through a one week period where you will feel that five to 10 percent more fortunate. There'll be more opportunities around you. That's that's healthy it's not it's not exceptional but it's healthy the problems next year are going to come from saturn and uranus i particularly draw your attention to the full moon eclipse um not only on the 16th of may now i've got this right 16th of may Yes, but also on the um, 8th of November, the total eclipse of the sun, wrong, the total eclipse of the moon in Scorpio on the 8th of November, this is going to also have a big impact on all of you. And if you're one of those people who's born around the... 8th of November, then be aware, please, that your birthday is a time of big changes in the world. That full moon is going to be um, a full moon in Taurus on the 8th of November is going to be squaring Saturn conjunct Uranus as well as opposite Mercury and Venus. So I consider that time around the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th of November to be probably the most one of the two or three most challenging times of the coming year. Uranus is going to be in your opposite sign. And those of you born from the 3rd to the 6th 
of November will be familiar with Uranus because there's been a great deal of compressed and concentrated change over this last year, which is still going on and which will linger in the background until the end of April. You either dance with it or it has its way with you. You can't negotiate with change. Uranus will then move on and will have a particularly strong impact in the lives of those of you born around the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, perhaps 11th of November over the rest of this year from May onwards. Change is an essential. Without change, we get entropy and decay. The wave of change is coming. You either cling to the rocks or run and hope it passes over you, in which case it will pick you up and trash you, or you swim out and you climb the wave of change and you surf it and you flow with it, in which case it will be stimulating and innovative and original, exciting. And those will be born from the 7th to the 11th of November. The last eight months of next year are going to be very changeable. But if you go with it, it will be great. And if you fight it, you're probably going to get trashed. Um, Saturn is also impacting on you. Initially, in the first two months of the year, Saturn is going to be hammering those of you born from the 4th to the 10th of November. And if you're one of these, then treat the first two months of the year as different to the rest of the year. The first, January and February, if you're born from the 4th to the 10th of November, then January and February is a time where you can weed and prune and streamline. You can get rid of the dross. You can eliminate, purge, cleanse, release, let go. Those things, people, situations, and environments that are still around by March should then be around for the rest of the year. From March onwards, Saturn's going to be particularly impacting on those of you born from the 11th to the 17th of November. If you're one of these, then next year is either, it's going to be a year of really hard work and it's probably going to hurt. Um, but when I say hard work, if you're born from the 11th to the 17th of November, then from February onwards, that hard work is either going to be in terms of challenge, problems, obstructions, blockages, people telling you what you can and can't do, hindrances, you feeling alone and unsupported. And that's hard work. Or it's going to be hard work in terms of effort, efficiency, effectiveness and living within your own boundaries rather than those pushed on you by others. Up to you. Neptune is smiling on you in 2022. Those of you born around the 13th and 14th have had a good year of, of November. This last year has been a lot more subtle, a lot more artistic and this is continuing through into March. And then from March onwards, the 15th, 16th, 17th of November, people, you will find that amongst all the challenges, there's also a degree more sophistication, elegance, refinement, subtlety, beauty. Listen to the imagination. Live within your own boundaries rather than those pushed on you by others. And Pluto, Pluto's doing a few of you a fa big favour. If you're born at the end of Scorpio, the 18th, 19th, 20th of November, this coming year is going to be a really good year for you. You can expect a number of positive changes, especially in terms of internal psychological growth, self-confidence, self-belief. It's looking an excellent year. For most of you, it's a good year. It's only really those people born around the 11th and 12th that I'm really worried about. And even here, if you dance with change, it'll be all right. Thank you to those two in particular, Scorpios, who have gone out their way to be of help and, ser and, and service with me over this last year. It's those little donations that come in that keep me going and keep me able to, able to pump out all this free stuff. Without it, I wouldn't survive. So thank you. You know who you are. 